Alrighty. New game. Let's do it. January 1st, 1848. The Chateau Crenier of Baron Rurgwale. <gasps> oh no! Mr. Toad, is that Monsieur Grauwi? Oh mon dieu! <gasps> Dame Caterline, what have you done? Act one, a cat with claws. <gasps> Is Dame Caterlina a cat? It's midday already. Where on earth is that featherhead? Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird, Falcon? Oh, too early for worms. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. There will be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? Oh, goodness. A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. It's probably more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrison. May I have the honors? All right. <coughs> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I am writing you today because my daughter, Dame Cataline, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at La Conciergerie prison in charge of murder. Her trial is in three days' time. I would be greatly in your debt if you could offer her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Sanye Prout Twadiman. Well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious client in months. Not just that. The Damier estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Even if we cannot do much for Dame Catalin, his lordship will still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow! So I suppose you intend on defending Dame Catalin in the court? Of course. Bum, bum, bum. It would be foolish to let such a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Grab your coat, Sparrison. We are going to find our kitty client at La Conciergerie. Oh, excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all this sitting around. Oh, but I better file away Seigneur Demiao's letter first. One moment, Falcon. There it is. Did it. Pertoire's letter has been added to your evidence folder. You may access the evidence folder at any time by clicking the suitcase symbol. I nearly forgot my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that. Again? I recall you losing it at the New Year's party. And at Christmas. That's all right. No need to make a list. Falcon picked up his wallet. You may see how much money he is carrying at any time by clicking on the wallet symbol. Let us go. <gasps> Yay! Oh, welcome to the map screen. Thank you. From here, you can travel to any listed area by clicking on a location name or a location node. Areas marked with a clock symbol take a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbol can be visited freely. Whoa, it takes a whole day to get to La Conciergerie. <laughs> All right. For centuries, the infamous Conciergerie prison has detained the accused and the condemned alike. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the stone-cold foyer of the Conciergerie prison. Sullen-faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Oh, the Conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable. The cells, spotless. The guards are well-mannered. What do you want? Oh, good day, Monsieur. I am here to see Dame Cataline de Miao. I am due to represent her in court. Oh, you're her lawyer, huh? Well, fine. Follow me. Well, what are you waiting for? Keep up. <sighs> My papa has not forgotten about me, has he? Dame Catherine de Miao, I presume. Oh, you've arrived. The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petit assistant, Sparrowson. Oh, my lady is knowledgeable. Don't. Just 
Don't talk like that, Sparrowson. Oh, I'm very sorry. Uh, my papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. Well, I'm flattered. But they weren't available on such short notice, so he hired the first people in the address directory. Oh. You see, Falcon, I told you listing under aviary attorney would pay off. Well, let's get down to business. Dame Cataline, could you fill us in on some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I can do my best. What is it you want to know? What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there that evening? Or do you see anything suspicious? Um... What happened on the night of the murder? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Oh, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crenier, the home of the great Baron Rouge. My papa spent all evening talking with Monsieur Granouy and the Baron about, you know, business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner they were talking about company shares and investments, but I didn't really understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. I'm sorry, a man with a what took your what? A photograph? A camera, it is a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints a picture very fast. In ten minutes, poof! You have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is quite amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is quite right, Sparrowson. Oh, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I will make note of it. Camera's been added to your evidence folder. Please continue, Dame Cataline. So, after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that is when I found the body of Monsieur Granouy. He was all ripped open. A housemaid saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. Oh, it wasn't so bad. My papa taught me how to be a brave kitty. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Who was there? Dame Catalina, who attended the banquet that evening. Well, there was me, and my papa, and my dearest maman could not make it. And there was Baron Rouet, who hosted the dinner, and his housemaid, uh, Colleen, I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Granoui. Well, until, you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Robito de Robinho, the man with the camera, but he was only there for a little while. Hmm. Mm, I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Any, uh, suspicious stuff going on? Dame Kathleen, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, maybe... A guy looking in the shadows, or a bloodied murder weapon. Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you are looking for an easy answer. Mm, you got me. I did not see anything, I'm afraid. The evening was very normal, the food was delicious, the conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait, Falcon, you missed something of huge importance! Uh, I did, I did. Dame Kathleen, you said the food was delicious, but you didn't say what food it was! Oh, you and your damn stomach. Oh, let me see. We had poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Mm, go on. Mm, then a marbled steak, served perfectly bloody rare. Glorious! Falcon, Falcon, write this down. B what? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please, for me. Oh, fine, fine. Red herring has been added to your evidence folder. Bloody rare steak has been added to your evidence folder. Sparrowson, remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Oh, come to think of it, I did find it a little strange we weren't given any cutlery. 
No cutlery, even for steak. Nope. You would think that the great baron of Chateau Crenier would have glorious silverware, but there was none to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted to know, Monsieur Falcon? No, I think that will be all. So, what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I say it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crenier and try to see this... <laughs> and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down the supposed photographer, Monsieur Rubito de Rubinio. Two days for two tasks? Well, that seems doable. But we should head back and get some rest. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go. You... You do believe me, don't you? I believe in justice. Dame Catalina, I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. That is good to hear. You're not wrong, Falcon, but that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work on being less of a, how to put it, fille de pute. If serving justice makes me a fils de pute, then I'll wear that title proudly. Justice! For justice! Dame Cataline, Monsieur Grand Oui, Baron Rogueyle. These names are all a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep track of who everyone is. A, a what? A Facebook. It's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy-to-carry catalog. I think I understand. The name could use a little bit of work, though. Sparison has started compiling a Facebook. Oh! Granwi. Froggy businessman who was found murdered at Chateau Crenier. A colleague of Pertoir and Roguel. The elegant bourgeois daughter of Pertoir de Miao. She has been accused of murdering Granwi. An ill-mannered jail keeper seems to feel disgust for criminals and for animals in general. Oh, God, we haven't met him yet, but he looks glorious. The wealthy father of Dame Catterley and Pertoir hired us to defend Dame Catterley in court. Look at all these faces. All right. I don't know I have 20 francs. Ate a bloody rare steak at the banquet. This is a red herring. I feel like that's going to be a goof. Like a red herring goof. If you get my meaning. Uh, a photographer named Robito attended the banquet and it's requested legal aid. It's being held at. Okay. Oops. You can access a list of people you have met at any time by clicking the book symbol. Let's make a move. Yes, let's. A new day. The game saves automatically at the start of each new day. But you can also make a quick save at any time by selecting save and quit from the pause menu. What, I can't just, like, quick save? I have to save and quit? They don't want you to save scum this game. I get it, it's fine. You can access the pause menu by clicking on the cog symbol in the upper left corner, or by pressing the escape key. Nah, quit without saving, save and quit. Those are the only options, you can't just save and then like move on with your life. Man, that sucks. Okay, do we go to uh, the place where the cameraman is, or do we go to uh the place where the murder happened i think we need to go to the place where the murder happened falcon and sparrowson entered the courtyard outside chateau crenier people with dirty clothes and gaunt faces linger around the building's shadows excusez-moi monsieur i don't mean to be a pain but my little girl and i are sick and starving see <coughs> I don't suppose you'd have some spare change? You have 20 francs in your wallet. What are you gonna do? Oh man, does this affect like stuff? Does this actually affect anything? <sighs> Dang it, I'm such a softy in these dumb games. Ah. Uh... Here you go. 
Well, stay safe, madam. Oh, wow, bless you, monsieur, bless you. <laughs> that was pretty generous of you, Falcon. Well, times are tough. Making sure a mother and child can make it through the last of winter is the least I can do. Oh, but what am I doing standing here moralizing? Come along, Sparrowson. We've got business to attend. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the pristine wood-paneled foyer of Chateau Crenier. Wow, look at this place. Baron Roguel must be loaded. More than loaded. When it comes to lucrative investments, the Baron is a legend. Factories, chocolate shops, hotels, railroads, the Baron owns a little bit of everything this side of the Seine. Is he here right now? Yes, he's the smug-looking chap with the impressive mane. But we must approach a man of his stature with tact and finesse. <laughs> that terrified me. Hello, Baron! We would like a word! How, how, how was that? Sparrowson, you have the finesse of an inebriated warthog. Oh, you can thank me later, because I think I got his attention. <coughs> Did I hear my name? Great Baron Rogueyle, property owner extraordinaire, at your service. And who might you fellows be? Investigators. He's just so regal. I'm so intimidated. Not quite. I am Private Attorney J.J. Falcon. This is my associate Sparrowson. Lawyers! You know, you aren't the first to have passed through here today. Oh. Yes, yes, this jumpy, twitchy fellow came by this morning. Asked a bunch of questions, then hopped away before he heard the answers. Most curious. Hmm. Do you know who he was, Sparrowson? Perhaps. I have a hutch. <clears throat> Sorry, a hunch. We'll be seeing him at the trial. A friend of yours? Oh, something like that. So what might I do for you, messieurs? Oh, we're doing some research on Monsieur Cronwy, the frog who was killed here on Friday evening. Of course, of course, such a tragedy. He was a good friend and a loyal business partner. I suppose you messieurs will be wanting to see the crime scene for yourself. Actually, yes, that would be fantastic. Well, be my guest. You will find the garden where the murder occurred through the back doors. You may also be interested in the lounge on the second floor, third door to the right. That would be where we gathered for a group photograph prior to the, uh... Unfortunate incident. Oh, can we see the finished photograph? I'm afraid not. It is to my understanding that the photograph must be developed before it can be viewed. It is a very slow process. My own copy of the photograph is to be delivered in three days' time. Oh, that's no good for us. The trial might be over by then. Really? That's how fast we're doing trials now? Nonetheless, we appreciate our hospitality. Thank you, Baron. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I'll be here to see you out when you are done with your investigations. So, where shall we go first? Alright. Lounge, main hall, or garden? Let's go to the garden. Dame Catalin said that she found Monsieur Grand Oui on the stairs by the fountain, so this must be the very spot where the murder took place. Hey, Falcon, do the crime scene investigation thing. The crime scene investigation thing? Yeah, you know, that thing where you get all eagle-eyed and analyze every object in excruciating detail. You mean, you mean when I search for evidence? Yes, do that! Oh, that's not a bad suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time the Parisian police have missed something right under their noses. In investigation mode, you're free to examine the scenery of the room. Click on an item of interest, and Falcon will examine it in closer detail. When you've had enough, or when you can find nothing else to examine, click on the X in the top right corner. Select an area. Hmm. A horse statue. This one has a goofy face. 
That reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar and the barkeep says... Why the long face? Yes, we've all heard it. What? No, the barkeep says, You've got to stop coming here. You're drinking us under the stable. I think it's time to rein in the horse jokes. Select an area to examine. Hit that one. This fountain is finely crafted. Solid carved marble. Can't have been cheap. I hope that this is all just like a big goof on the investigation genre. <laughs> like, we click on everything in this area and at the end we're like, well, we didn't learn anything because none of that stuff has anything to do with the murder. <laughs> that would just be amazing. I see nothing but water in the bottom of the lower basin. It's a shame we can't see inside the upper basin from here. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. That's... That's actually not a terrible line of reasoning. We ought to wade in and take a closer look just to be sure. Yes, I suppose we should. <laughs> oh, I apologize. I wasn't being direct enough. What I meant to say was, Sparison, you should go wade into the fountain and take a closer look inside the upper basin. But... Me? No way! If you want to go wading, you can do it yourself. I am a respectable lawyer. You can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle around a fountain like a duck in a lake. Yes, well, you don't pay me enough to justify getting my sweet threads wet. Look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip for it. Flip for it? Yes, I will flip this one franc coin. You call the outcome. You get it wrong, you go for a swim. What'll it be? Heads or tails? Napoleon face or... Um, plant squiggles. Heads or tails? Hmm. Plant squiggles? It's called a wreath, Sparrison. Sure, I'll bet on the plant squiggles. Here I go! It's heads. Should have gone with the old Emperor, Falcon. Oh! Fine, hold my shoes. Falcon really should learn how to spot a rigged coin flip. It's so weird seeing a bird with just human hands back there. It's like, yep, good. I almost feel bad for cheating. Almost. Oh. Oh, you're back. Had a good swim? No, as I am a bird, not a fish. But I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, but... What's this? It's brown and sticky. It smells weird. Don't tell me you picked up a... Cigar? Very wet cigar butt. Possibly belonging to Baron Rogueale. Correct. That shouldn't be too surprising. It is his house, after all. I'll stash it in the evidence folder, just in case. Cigar butt is in there. Is there anything else we need to do here? Another beautifully made horse statue. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Yep, eventually we realized it was just filling up on hors d'oeuvres. Ugh, terrible. Are those the only other two things that I can click on? Yeah, it looks like it. A finely crafted horse statue. The mane almost looks lifelike. Would you say it behooves you to stroke it? No. No, I would not. Baron Rogueale certainly likes his horse statues. I don't mind the horse statues, but the little cherub people creep me out. Babies should be waddling, not attempting saddleless horseback riding. I think we got it all. Oh! <gasps> Dried blood on the staircase. This must be where Monsieur Grandoui died. Do you see any bloody footprints? Oh, oh, or maybe a name scrawled in blood written with the frog's last breath. Wishful thinking. All I'm seeing here is a big sticky puddle. There's nothing to indicate the body was moved or that the frog left a last minute clue. All I can make out from the bloody mess is that Monsieur Grandoui was attacked and killed on the staircase. <laughs> I like this music. Oops! Look at my cr 
cursor. It's like super weird. I was like, maybe I can get it to not be weird anymore. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I can't go back. Okay. I don't know what he said, but good call, buddy. Are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We still have time. I can't hear any music. <gasps> really? Hold up. Can you hear it now? Maybe it's too loud now? I'll just have to wait to find out. Music is fine, music is fine. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should move my camera since maybe over here. Since stuff is like popping up in this corner a lot. <gasps> I finally got the cursor back. All right. Anyways, we'll move on. And on the break, if it's still a problem, change it. Don't push your luck. Okay, we went to the garden. Cool. Uh, let's go to the lounge then. Uh. Did you just walk into the wall, sweet baby? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Second floor, the dawn right. This must be the room where the photograph was taken. Psst. Hey, Falcon, did you see that? See what? That housemaid totally just did something shifty. Shifty? I think she just pocketed something from that drawer. You should totally call her out on it. Excuse me, Madame Wazelle. Ah! Uh, uh, yeah? Are you two policemen or... No, no, no. We're private attorneys. My name is J.J. Falcon. And I am Sparrowson. Oh! Super rude of me. Sorry, my name is Cooling Duhote. So, uh, yeah, what can I help you messieurs with today? Well, we're investigating the murder that took place last week. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Just let me, like, uh, grab a chair. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Um, what did you want to ask me? Is this where the photograph was taken? Is there something we should know? You were a little nervous when we came in. You thought we were police officers. Is there something we should know? Anything you need to confess? Oh no, <laughs> I suppose I'm just like, really nervous after all the drama last week. Hmm. But justice, though. Are you sure there isn't anything you're hiding? It's okay to tell us. We're defense attorneys. That means we help people get away with criminal acts. Right, and... Wait, what? No, that is not an accurate job description, Sparrowson. Oh, it isn't? Uh, well, what do we do then? Well, I, I, I will tell you later. Honestly, messieurs, I don't have anything to hide. Was there something else you wanted to ask, or...? We're looking for the room where the photograph was taken prior to the incident. Would you happen to know whether this is the right room? Oh yeah, this is totally the right place. I saw the photography session. Sorry. <laughs> photography session for myself. Let's see. Um, the cameraman was standing. Uh, like, right where you're standing, actually. And where was the camera pointed? Oh, right at the clock above the mantelpiece, because the Baron, like, insisted on using that very specific location. Why? So that you could see what time it was? So that he would have an alibi when he murdered the frog? <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, something isn't right about that clock. I know, the painting on it totally clashes with the decor! I was thinking along more obvious lines. That the clock is wrong? Because it was rotated back? 
so that it would be a different time than what it actually was, and when he used it in evidence, then it would look like it was the right time, but it's not the right time? Look, oh, or it just has no hands. Sure. That's- there's that, too. <laughs> sure. Good. The clock has no hands. Oh, yeah, that clock has never had hands, like, the whole time I've worked here. I think Baron Rogawale just likes keeping it around as kind of conversation piece. Well, we're conversing about it, so I guess it's working. It is a peculiar detail, though. I will make note of it. Missing clock hands. Uh, is there, like, something else you wanted to ask? <gasps> what if in the picture there are clock hands? Okay, anyways, sorry. Um, is there something else you wanted to ask? No further questions. Thank you, mademoiselle. You've been a huge help. Uh, it's no problem, messieurs. Actually, uh... Okay, look, there is something. I know you two saw me, like, stealing stuff as you came in. And I, I don't know. I, like, super appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree about it. See, I'm, like, trying to save up to follow my dreams. And, uh, well, never mind. I'm, like, super rambling. It's no problem, mademoiselle. To be honest, we have a much larger crime to worry about. Although, I should probably ask. I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else. Silverware, perhaps. Ah, uh, you know about that? Yeah, that was me. It started with a couple of teaspoons, and I didn't think the Baron would miss those, you know? But, uh, well, yeah, I guess the habit got a little bit away from me. Well, that's one mystery solved. Missing silverware. I would super appreciate it if you didn't tell the Baron, because he's been really kind, and I really don't want to, like, break his trust. I see. So, where to next, Big Bird? Okay, so we're going to be given the option, like, do we tell him or not that his maid is stealing all his shit? Like, okay, look. If it was... If it was, like, she took a teaspoon and then sold it and was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I'd be like... All right, just don't do it again. But the fact that she, like, is a kleptomaniac now is just, like, stealing everything. It's like, please don't tell him he's so nice. He's the best boss ever. I'm like, if he was the best boss ever, you would stop stealing his shit. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, did you monsieurs have a good look around? I trust everything was in order. We had a good look, thank you, Baron, but we actually have some questions for you. Oh, ask away. I have nothing to hide. About your housemaid. I care about justice. I'll ask about the murder first. Baron Rograil, I would like to ask about your activities on the night of murder. Oh, am I in trouble? Hmm. Maybe. That remains to be seen. Oh, does it now? I don't particularly care for your tone. I'm just asking questions, Baron. If you have nothing to hide, then you should be able to give a straight answer. <gasps> Uh-oh. This is my favorite character, by the way. Listen well, Garçon. I make more money in ten minutes than you make in a week. I pay extortionate amounts of taxes to the government so that law lackeys like you can keep your cozy jobs. And yet, you have the audacity to waltz into my own home and accuse moi of being a murderer. You have ten seconds to get off my property, or I will ensure that the next trial you attend will be your own. You certainly seem suspicious, sir. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Don't say anything. What was it you told me as we went in? Let's act with tact and finesse. Shut up. What was it you called me? A drunken warthog? I don't need this. I'm going back to the office. It's a new day. All right, well, let's go to the studio, I guess. Oh! <gasps>
guys. What if? What if he is the murderer? And that's why he's a lion. Because he's been lying. Oh my god, I just, I want that to happen. Anyways. So, this is the studio of the famous photographer. Shall we knock? Wait, there's a note on the door. Ahem, ahem. The magnificent and marvelous artist, Monsieur Rubitio de Rubinio, is currently out on an artistic expedition. He shall return when his muse sees fit. When his muse sees fit? What does that even mean? I think it means he's a pretentious bird brain, but in any case, the artist seems to be out. So, what shall we do? Hmm. Knock anyway. We should knock anyway. All right, I don't see the harm. The next one's going to be, we should break in. Nope. Does it look like he's in, Falcon? Yes! I knew it! Oh my god, but breaking and entering is not very just. And I do believe in justice. Hmm. But if breaking in helps me prove that the kitty cat didn't kill the frog, then it's all in the name of justice. Right? What I want to know is if there's like a very specific piece of evidence that I need in here. I guess that's not possible, right? Like, they wouldn't let me leave if there was a piece of evidence that I needed. Or would they? Oh god, I just don't know. I feel like if I break in, it's going to come back to haunt me. I won't break in. 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 Well, there's nothing else to do. Let's make a move. Oh, I hate the feeling of a wasted trip. Is there really nothing else we can do? We can't just ignore a note, Sparrowson. Well, if you say so. We'll just have to come back later if there's still time. Right. 